जय वंदे गुरु परद्वंदम भक्त वृंद समन्वित श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितनंद सहोरित श्रीनंद नंदन वंदे राधिका चरण द्वय गोपीजन सयुक्त वृंदावना मनोहर आजानुलंबित भुज कनकवरत संकर्तनकित कमलया तक्ष विश्वरो द्विजबरो युगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रियक करुणावतार अगम निगम सरौ सृष्टि संहर करौ नव वायसी नव किशोर नित्य बृंद वनस्ट शमन भय विनशो पापी नारायत भज भज तो मनोरे राधिका कृष्ण चंद्र वंचकलतरूभ्य कृप सिंधुभ्य पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम भज श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितनंद दैत गाध शिव सदिगौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे थैंक यू फॉर spending the time together in the best way first of all i give my sister ganga pranam to the lotus feet of my guru dev and it tell ila pravishto om vishnu pada stotra shato shishimat bhakti vaiva puri gosai maharaj i pray for his causes mercy and i give my sister ganga pranam to all our upanna guru vargas i pray for the causes mercy and i give my sister ganga pranam to the lotus feet of shri bhakti Bichar Vishnu Goswami Maharaj, Bhakti Sadak Muni Maharaj, pray for the Kaurav's mercy. I give my sastik dandal pranam to all present, Vaishnavas, Vaishnavis. I pray for the Kaurav's mercy of all, and I give also my sastik dandal pranam to Lotus Feet of Shri, Shri Pad Adi Shankar Acharya. Today, Mahesh Prabhu he requested to speak about his Moha Mudgara. So, with all the blessings of the author, how we will enter into the meaning? So, Lord Shankar Acharya, he is Lord Shiva's incarnation. So, he is a Parama Vishnu. He came to this world on the order of Krishna. Krishna told because he is Lord Shiva is in charge of Tamagun of destruction. So, somebody had to destroy the knowledge in this Kali Yuga. So whenever something special is to be done which nobody can do Lord Shiva will take the task. In Brahma Sanhita Lord Brahma is praying also that Kshiramnya tada divikara vishesha yugat sanjayate nahita ta prita khasti tu ya shambhuta ma pita ta samupeti karya Govinda madi purusham tamaham bhajan. If Krishna wants to do something special he becomes a shambhu Lord Shiva. Something extra like drinking one ocean of poison vishnu was there kurma avatar was there vishnu was on top of the mandara mountain but he sent no you ask lord shiva ask him so he is something special is to be done this special duty heavy task lord shiva will do that so in kali yuga somebody had to destroy the knowledge <laughs> so then lord shiva he not want to do that I said, okay, my lord, what is your order? We will do. So he came as a Shankara Charya and gave the he gave the knowledge, but in such a way that not everybody can understand that. So because Krishna said in Kali Yuga, many unqualified people they want to worship me. This is not good. If you do Krishna's bhakti, you become powerful. But if you have no good character, what do you do with all this power? So better don't let them do that. In Ram Lila, you see. One Brahmin was there when Ram Chandra was king, and his son died out of nothing. So he came to Ram Chandra to the court and complained, "Oh, you're the king. My son died. It's your fault. I'm sinless Brahman. I don't did anything. Why my son died? It's your fault." And Ram Chandra he accepted because king's duty. He was responsible even. Hey. Not beat your father. <laughs> 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 so, 
So, because the king's duty was also that the weather is all right, that the climate is okay. So Ram Chandra was became serious. He took the matter serious and asked Vashishta, his guru. Then Vashishta went in meditation and said, yes, that is a problem. One Shudra is doing tapasya. Go and kill him. Then Ram Chandra went to that place. Vashishta and his meditation sent him. And Ram Chandra went to that place and asked, and so what? One Shudra is doing tapasya. Shudra means the lit meaning of Shudra is one who is crying when he's losing something. This is real because he identifies with his body. Shudra is not means worker actually. Shudra means who is crying when he loses something material. Mm -hmm. That is not very wise, no? So, so he was doing tapasya, then Ramchandra asked him, who are you? I'm doing this, what are you doing? I'm doing this tapasya. So Ramchandra took his sword and cut off his head. It looks cruel, no? But why he did that? It's also, if you do tapasya, you get power. But if you have no, like Hiranyaka Shipu, he was doing more tapasya than anybody else. But what he did with that tapasya? Tapasya is for self-realization, not for terrorizing the universe. Mm -hmm. So you give a lot of money to some low-class people, they will do only buying sins. They will not do good for themselves, not do good to others. So this Shudra was amassing power by doing tapasya. So he will create problems in the whole kingdom. So Ramchandra did his duty only. Many people cannot understand that thing, why he did that. What is wrong with tapasya? But tapasya is only for qualified people. No? So this bhakti, Krishna bhakti in Kali Yoga is very powerful. But if wrong people will use that, they will misuse that power. So Lord Shiva came and put them to another path. But he himself, he is a pure devotee. What he said here, bhaja govindam, bhaja govindam, govindam bhaja mudamate. Because one time, Shankaracharya, he was wandering and he saw one old man, 80 plus or something, is reciting grammar, Sanskrit grammar, some, some sutras. He was doing this. So here he mentioned Dukring Karani, you know. Some prapte sanhi te kale nahi nahi rakshati Dukring Karani. This Dukring means one dhatu is there. This kri dhatu means to do. So he was reciting how to, to conjugate these verbs. To be, he can, can make millions of forms from this. So he was doing that. But he's old. Any moment can be the last breath. Then Shankaracharya says, Mudamate. Hey, you fool, what are you doing? Bhaja Govinda, Bhaja Govinda. You worship Govinda. You worship Govinda because the last moment will come. And what will this grammar help you? If you recite the Kri Dhatu, if you do what, what it will help you. But how much Govinda will help you? So he was, he went and then he wrote this many shlokans, and his disciples also wrote more shlokans to this, so it's not 100% clear who was writing what, but some they definitely say they give to Shankaracharya. And this is called, many know that Bhaja Govinda Stotra, but it's also called Mohamudgara, to hammer this illusion. You need a big hammer to break this illusion. It's a big illusion. Because Shankaracharya, by foot, he was walking everywhere. And he saw that was when he appeared, uh, like a thousand years ago, something like that, no? 2,500 years back, yeah. When he appeared? 2,500 years back. No, not so much. BC, I think. No, 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 no. that was Buddha's that was time. Buddha. He was maybe, maybe 1,000 years, 1,200 years back or and something. Buddhism was spreading. That, after, after Buddhism he came. After Buddhism, yeah. That is a big plan, you know? Yeah. Yeah. What is the big plan? It's also Krishna's plan, because Buddha also it's sent also by Krishna. Sent by Krishna. Many Buddhas also there, not one Buddha. Many Buddhas there. So this is one, this... But uh, the, the plan was because people were misusing Vedas and Vedic knowledge and Vedic power. So Buddha appeared and stopped. No more Vedas, this is all wrong. Do Ahimsa. Because they were killing animals not for pleasing some higher beings, so the Devatas or Krishna, they were just to enjoy. So then misused. So then Buddhas disconnected from the Vedas. Then Shankaracharya, he came with the same message like Buddha, but again connected with the Vedas. Mm -hmm. That's almost the same. So Buddha, he was teaching Shunyavad, zero. Mm -hmm. 
Shankaracharya make everything one. From zero to one, Adraya. Yeah. This is Advaita Vat. He's a Shuddha Advaita Vat, Keval Advaita Vat, they call Shankaracharya. Then after Shankaracharya, Ramanuja Acharya appeared. Uh, he put Vishishta Advaita. Everything is one, no problem. But one is a little special one. <laughs> that is Vishishta Advaita. One is a special one. We are all one, but one is really outstanding one. So he put that. So he put almost the same philosophy like Shankaracharya, but he made Bhagavan as the Vishishta Advaita. Huh? Then uh, Madhvacharya appeared. He said, no, that is pure. That is Shuddha Dvaitavat. There is no Advaita, there is Shuddha Dvaitavat. He, he always, you see, yeah. always you see Madhvacharya like this. There are two. One is Jiva, one is Ishvara, they are never same. So that, that is a big plan. Then also Nimbaka Acharya appeared. He preached that is called uh, Shuddha, that is Dvaita Advaitavat. Nimbaka Acharya. He appeared and also Vishnu Swami appeared. He preached that Shuddha Dvaita Advaitavat. Shuddha Dvaita Vat. Purified Advaita Vat. Shuddha Advaita Vat. So they all appeared, Vaishnava Acharya. Then Mahaprabhu appeared, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared, 500. He took all four Vaishnava Sampradayas and Shankaracharya's teachings also. He accepted. He gave actually title, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave title Acharya to Shankara Acharya. He accepted him also. So therefore we also worship Shankara Acharya. We also respect, we also take the teachings. My Gurudev many times was quoting also from this Mohammed Gara. He liked that also very much. And other Acharyas also discuss this. This is, we should not think this is is coming from the lotus mouth of Lord Shiva, so that cannot be wrong. But he spoke it in a way not everybody can understand. So many of his followers, so-called followers, could not really understand what he was going to say. But actually he said this Bhaja Govindam, Bhaja Govindam, especially some prapte sani te kale, already last moment has come, this is an old man, what you're doing, wasting your time, what you will do with grammar? Become a grammarian and die. <laughs> what is the use? So, you have to come again by this, and nobody knows what is the next destination. So, Bhaja Govinda, if you worship Govinda, he will do the rest, so don't worry. And then, he wrote, that is, that is the hammer for the illusion. So, some, <laughs> that is for the, this, because all this, this is the, the moha in this world is mostly between bodies, mostly between husband and wife, or man and woman, between children and parents, between even guru and disciple. If, it's, if the conception is based on body, this will also make problems. Yes, that is moha. And this moha, this keeps us down and we don't understand what is what. And we do think, things which are not necessary actually. No? So then Shankaracharya said, Mudha jani dana gama trishnam kurusat buddhiman manasi vitrishnam yallabase nija karmopatam vitam tena vinodaya chittam. Just, oh Mudha, means <laughs> fool. Don't, you should know, you give up this dana gama trishnam, this thirst after getting more money, wealth, these old things. Guru Sat Bhudiman Manasi Vitrishnam, be satisfied in your mind. And Guru Sat Bhudiman, be, become saintly, no? become virtuous, become peaceful. This Manasi Vitrishnam, be satisfied, no thirst anymore in your mind. This is very difficult. To be satisfied is one kind of tapas. If you read Bhagavad Gita, Krishna telling what is tapas for the body, what is tapas for the speech, what is tapas for the mind, and tapas for the mind is to be satisfied. <laughs> to have no desires, this is painful, because we always want something. This, new, this, new, that, new, that. Otherwise, we not feel happy. We just, like here Shankaracharya says, just be satisfied what you have. Yallabhase nija karma patam, what you get through your karma. This wealth, tena vinodaya chittam, with this you'll be happy in your 
chitta in, inside in your heart. Be happy with that what you get, what you want more. That is meant for you. Even if you do more, you will not get more. <laughs> but who can understand that? What is our karma? We will get. If we don't do anything, we will get it. If we do more, we will also get it. So what is use? What, why to waste the time? That is the main thing. We are, time is so valuable. No? We are every time thinking of Europe. But how we never think of seconds, of minutes, of hours, of days, of weeks, of months, of lifespan is going on. We don't know. And then we are old. What we have done? Just running after money. But this is not the meaning of life. So he gave this. This is actually, I think all religions will teach that. Not only Hinduism. Just be satisfied what you have. But no one is following. <laughs> Uh, even even some esoteric people will teach that, even some, they may be not religious, but they will say, who give some advice, they will also say like this, be satisfied what you have. This is a great art. And because if you're satisfied, you're free. If you're not satisfied, you're bound. That is the problem. You're bound and you have to come again into this world just because you're not satisfied. This is so, so, therefore he's just, be satisfied with what you have. And here this is also very famous. Naristana bhara nabidesham drishtva maga mohavesham etan manksha vasadi vikaram manasi vichintaya varam varam. Manasi vichintaya varam varam. Again and again you think in your mind. What is this? If you see the breast of a woman and the nabidesham, her belly, that looks and it looks like it is charming. No? Now you see all advertisement is done with some beautiful ladies. Maybe that was that is the number one Maya. In Bhagavatam Kapila Dev says this also. This is Yoshid Deva Vinirmitam. This woman is full of divine power. That is given by the Lord. There's nothing wrong that they are beautiful. What is wrong? But it's for his pleasure, not for our pleasure. That is the point. One has to understand that. So, but seeing this, don't go into this moha. Be attracted by that. By, because etat mamsa vasadi vikaram. That is just flesh and fat and skin and all these things. So where is beauty? <laughs> we think, now where is beauty? One beautiful Miss World is there. She is all declared she is the beautiful, most beautiful lady in the world now. So where is the beauty? Is the beauty in the eyes? We have beautiful lips, no? beautiful hair, beautiful body, but they take out one eye and look, where is the beauty? <laughs> where is the beauty? <laughs> well, you cut out the lips and then look, where is the beauty? You break out one teeth with a nice smiling, where is the beauty? Cut the hair and where is beauty? Fingernails, if you cut, you want to throw them away. You don't want to have them in your lying around in the, where you're living. So where is beauty? Where is the beauty? Skin is beautiful, but where is it? Look inside, no? <laughs> what is inside? Where is the real beauty? Because beauty exists. No, no doubt that beauty exists. That, uh, here's Shankaracharya said, just think. This beautiful form is just flesh, bones and marrow and blood and stool and urine and all these disgusting things. If you put, if you remove one millimeter of this Maya, how Miss World will look? Everybody will run away. <laughs> Nobody can see that. But one millimeter you keep, oh, it's so charming. The whole world will bow down <laughs> to the beauty. But actually it's not like that. Think, manasi vichinta, baram baram. Again and again you think, what is this? Where is beauty? Think, well, then that is one thing, okay, there is no beauty. If you analyze, there is no beauty, but where is the beauty? There is the beauty. <laughs> that original beauty is there, Radha Krishna, that is the original beauty. There's so much beauty there that even when Lakshmi comes to Brindavan, she's astonished how beautiful are the flowers and the birds. No, there's no, not, not gold ornaments and all these things, but how beautiful these birds are in Brindavan. And these flowering trees, when Lakshmi is coming to, she is astonished. Wow. And who is Lakshmi Devi? She is the goddess. She has all beauty. She has all wealth. But she comes to Krishna's abode, 
she cannot understand this beauty. So the beauty is there. So better we put our mind there to the real beauty. Bhaja bhaja tu manore Radhika Krishna Chandra. My mind think of Radha Krishna. This is real beauty. Don't if you see our Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur said, our Param Gurudev. If you see a woman, think that is a gopi. If you think a man, then think this is Krishna. Any man, you see a materialistic man go and you think that is Radha Krishna or Krishna and gopis. But don't think Krishna is a man and don't think Radha Rani is a woman. But every woman you think Radha Rani. So if you go in the street and we see, okay, think. Better think the original. Better think the original. Don't, otherwise this Maya, you see what people are doing in the name of, we call it love here or something, but most murder cases based on this, most. Yeah. So where is love? Where is beauty? So this is very dangerous. Therefore Shankara Acharya said here this, again and again you think, not one time, it's not enough. You have to think, because it's again and again coming also to us. It's, you go out here, especially in our culture, you go and you will be bombed by these things. So he's giving some hammer to smash this illusion. This also this Bhatri Hari, you know, this Sanskrit poet, he, is, he also wrote how oh, that poets they describe the lady's face like the moon and so, but actually it's only flesh and bones and nothing, but the poets make so many things out of it. <laughs> this is the poetry in this world, this is the Moha. Because he was king, you know his story, maybe, Bhatri Hari. He's, his, some say his brother of Vikramaditya, some say. He was also king. Same time, like before Jesus, no? around Jesus' time. He was king and he had queen. And one time one yogi in his kingdom found a big jewel, very beautiful jewel, gem. And the yogi thought, I'm a yogi, what I do with that? If I have such a valuable thing, some robbers will come maybe that is not, I better give it to the king, he can properly use it, protect it. So he went, came to the court and gave the very beautiful jewel to the king. Then the king called his, some treasure and he gave to him and said, you make a nice necklace out of it. Then they produced a nice necklace, put a nice gold chain, everything, and he gave it to his queen. And the queen took it, but the queen had a lover. <laughs> The army general was the queen's lover. So she gave it to the army general. But the army general also, he went to some prostitutes also. He not only had the queen. <laughs> That's the nature of this world. That was 2000 years back. <laughs> so the uh, army general gave this beautiful necklace to his favorite prostitute. Then the prostitute said, what I do, but this is so valuable. If somebody will see me that they will say I'm a thief, they will immediately accuse me. But I bring it to the king. <laughs> 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 so she came to the court and gave to oh my dear king, please, somebody gave this to me. I think it's better in your custody. Please take it. The king was astonished, oh I know this necklace. So he called his queen. Oh my dear queen, you know I gave you some necklace, some do you know where it is? Yeah, it's somewhere. I have to see it somewhere inside. I don't. Then the king showed me this. This dance. He was. He was shocked. And the king now he understood what is love. Then he wrote one poem that is called Priti Shataka, 100 verses about Priti, about love. And he wrote. He wrote also that about. Uh, Tyaga, but uh, something I forgot now, about the renunciation also, 100 verses. About Tyaga, he wrote also 100 verses. And one in one verse he said, oh, this is just skin and something, but poets make uh, such beautiful things out of it. So here Shankaracharya says the same. It looks like it's so divine, it's like, but really, what is there? some flesh, some little fat, some little skin, and all these things. If you separate this, if you put this body in one bag, who will enjoy that? <laughs> but this is body is a bag. Sanskrit, this is called kunata, this bag. So this body is a bag, 
So what you want to enjoy, really, where is the enjoyment? If you take these all ingredients of this body, pack in one bag and give to someone, this is like what Miss World equal to Miss World, what is there? <laughs> Nothing is there. But this is the illusion. So Shankarachai takes a big hammer and smash this, put that hammer it, you have to smash that. That is Guru's, Guru's duty to smash that. And that is painful also, because illusion we think, oh, this is all so nice. No? <laughs> then Guru comes and tells you this is all more, this is all false. Very difficult to accept also. No? The whole life will be smashed. What we think is that uh, conception. Then here also he said, Nalini Dalagata Jalamati Taralam Tadvat Jivitam Atishaya Chapalam Vidhi Vyad Yabhimana Grastam Lokam Shokahatam Chasamastam. Famous also example. Life is like Nalini Dalagata Jalamati Taralam, like one drop of water is dancing on the leaf of a lotus flower. This cannot stick, no? You cannot, this life also, you cannot, where you want to hold? Every moment, gone. Next moment, gone. So where you, there is nothing to, where you want to take shelter? Your money, doctor, mother, husband, wife, children, where you want to take, nobody can, it's just going, no? It's totally, it's like dancing, it's like always moving, a little shaking, it will fall down also. Then finished, so this life is like that, you go out of the street, one car come, finished. You never know. It is so, we are so on the edge, but we are not conscious of that. But here he said, so your life is like one tottering drop of water on a lotus leaf. Dava jivitam atishaya chapalam, which very much is restless. Come, come always, chapalam means restless. It's running, it's always, you cannot keep it. It's extremely uncertain. You never know, 30 seconds we live more, who can give a guarantee? No one, we think we have plans, in 10 years I will do that, after, 10, after pension I will do that, but what is, what is reality? Nobody knows, nobody knows. So, Vidhi Vyadi Abhimana Grastam, everybody is uh, stricken by this disease, with the disease Abhimana Grastam, to be proud, like Abhiman, to think I'm this, and that shokahatan, all have to some lamenting, all are burning in this fire of lament. So what is this life? Any moment it can be finished, and as long as it is not finished, you are full of suffering, full of disease, full of pride, full of uh, lamentation. So that is not what it, that is something more is there. No? Go for that, don't be captured only by that. So our Acharyas also, they, many of these analogies, many of these words, they meant many songs, many prayers also to understand this. And that is really, that is practical knowledge, that is not theory. He went through India at that time, like 1200 years back, something like that. No? Shankaracharya appeared around 800 or something. No? That time it was like this. What to speak of now, what he will say if we go now? My God, what illusion he will see now. <laughs> it is, you see, when, when the first preachers came to the West, they cry when they see this condition of the people here. <laughs> this is uh, so much under this illusion. So they tried their best, so also Shankaracharya, he also tried his best, give this knowledge to understand. And then what is this life? This is wonderful also. Yavat. Vitta oparjana saktaha stav sakta stava nija parivara raktaha paschat jivita jarjara dehe vartam kopina prichati dehe. As long as you bring money home, everything is all right. <laughs> as long as you are young and bring the money, they will be attracted to you, they will sit around you, they will give you some food or something, but what happens if you become old and the body becomes weak? Then nobody will ask you anything. You will just be on the side, they will keep you somewhere. Yeah. That was that time already. Now we can see fully happened, it's fully manifest. But that time already, Shankaracharya saw it. The old people who, what, they just give them something and keep them on the side. 
Vartam kopi napritchati ge. Who will ask you anything at home? Even if you're at home, who will ask you anything? How you are, what you want, what is. And if you speak something, they don't listen also. There's so many they don't. But as long as bring the money, you go to center. <laughs> but money is gone. Or some, you see, if uh, men, they have money. Some ladies, have, they are beautiful. But when the beauty is gone, when the money is gone, when the attraction is gone, when all these things are gone, who is your friend? It's very good to realize this also once in life. That is very good, very helpful to realize these things. Sometimes when you're sick, weak, you lose something, money, then you're really alone, then who will come? If you die on the street, people don't care. Who is just the next neighbor here? Does he care how are you? Not at all. Then what to speak of all others? Not even who is living five meters from here. He has any feeling. So this is the world. But one friend we have always. Krishna will never leave us. He's always with us and he will care also. If nobody will care, he will also care. That is there. Then also, this is one one verse it gives one one realization. So all together, make a big hammer. Javat pava no nivasati dehe, tavat prichati kushalam gehe, gatavati vayo deha pae, bharya bibhatya tasmin kai. As long as you breathing, breathing is in, air is going up, out, and in from this body, then they will ask you, how are you? But when the prana has gone, then even your wife, she will have fear to look this body. This is you. But it's amazing. No? You cannot see a dead body. You feel really like very uneasy. No? Even that is your, you sleep in the same bed for years, for decades. But when the life is gone, you don't want to see anymore. That is even, again, we have to take this world. If the life is going, nobody will anymore see the beauty there. That is, that is, so what is really beautiful? That is the soul inside. That is Atma and Paramatma. That is really beautiful. But we never sing. We live together, but we never see each other. Never. We not even see our own self, but to speak of others. You see, whole life we don't know who am I. I am seeing, I am speaking, I am thinking, I am hearing, but I don't see myself, I cannot understand myself, I don't hear myself, I only hear external things. This is called Maya. This is Krishna's Maya, the wonderful. So you see, this body is not the one actually whom we love. That is the person inside who is gone, that we feel when he's gone, but we still think, oh, that was the body. This is the Maya. Short time, if there is a funeral, short time people have realization. He's gone. He's lying there, but they say he's gone. That time they realize body and soul are different. Even here, even atheists realize that everybody realizes. But then go home, forget everything. They immediately think, I am this body. But for short time at the funeral, we are realized, oh, he has gone. Everybody says he has gone, but he's lying there. Eyes are there, ears are there, hands are everything is there. but. Really, he is gone. So we should now. We should always keep this consciousness, not be always swept away by this little illusion here. Many little illusion. That is Krishna's illusion. <laughs> he is not so easy. To, he says in Gita, "Mama Maya, Duratya." He says, "Daivi Esha Gunamai." This is my godly, divine, full of good qualities, Gunamai, Maya. Duratyaya, which is very difficult to cross. But Mameva ye prapadyante tamstateva bhajana. Who comes, who surrenders to me, he can cross. Maya me tam tarantite. He can cross this Maya. Because he's master of Maya. Therefore, here also you see that Lord Shiva, he's master of Maya. His wife is a Maya Devi. So he is the Maya Pati. So he is writing these things because he understands. We have to learn from these persons who understand the things, not from some speculators who think they make complicated things of simple, of simple truths. 
But who understands the subject matter? He will say the most complicated thing with three words. And he will be oh, like this. That is Bhagavad Gita. Only 700 shlokas, very condensed. But every shloka, very simple language, no complicated thoughts. But spoken by the one who really knows, <laughs> because he's the absolute truth. So he also, Lord Shiva, he's Adi Guru, he's the origin of Guru Tattva. So he speaks with very simple words, but Piercing through this, smashing this illusion, really. Because he understands. We have to learn from those who understand. These also very Guru Mahaj many times quoted this next verse. Because Shankaracharya was going and saw what the people are doing. Then he said, Bala stavat krida sakta, taruna stavat taruni sakta, bridda stavan tavat chinta sakta, ore brahmani kopi na sakta. The children, they are playing. Bala stavat krida sakta. They are attached to playing. Children are only here, see, they need something, jump, anything to move, anything to jump, whatever they need. So, when they become taruna stavat taruni sakta, they become attached to the youth, to the youth, to girls and boys, boys and girls. They become attached when they are youthful. When the rida stavat chinta sakta, when they become old, then become attached to worry. Then make only all oh, what will happen, what it is. Yes. So, Pare Brahmani, Kopi Nasakta, but on Pare Brahman, on the Supreme Brahman, Kopi Nasakta, no one is thinking, no one is attached to the Pare Brahman, to the Spirit, to the Supreme Lord. That is a wonderful thing. Childhood wasted, youth wasted, then when we are in the middle age, just running after money, when we become old, again only worrying. And never thinking, no one moment we think of Krishna. This is the problem. He saw that Shankaracharya, so he said that. He, that is. Oh. What happened? No, I can put some oil for that. Uh -huh. Yes. Do you need some more? No, no, it's okay. It's oh, still it's burning. Good. It's enough inside. Normally it takes two, three hours. Oh, yeah, okay. it's, it's, it's enough. Then Shankaracharya said, Kate kanta kaste putra, Sangsarva yam ativa vichitraha, Kasya tvam kaha kutta ayataha, Tatvam chintaya tat iha brata. Oh, brothers, he said, brata. Oh, brothers. Kate kanta, who is your wife? Who is your beloved? Think. Who is your son? Who is your child? This samsarayam ativa vichitra. This is vichitra. This is like a circus, you know. It's uh, all colors, all shapes, all games, everything. This is but ativa. This is like supreme circus. This world. You once enter, you never come out. Like a lunar park. So many things, attractions are there, and this is all moving and like this. This world is like this. Sangsarayam Ateva Vichitra. This is very wonderful. This creation is wonderful. You go and you see, you go just in the flower meadow here. How beautiful the flowers, these insects, the birds. Everything is beautiful. Yeah. Krishna made this world so beautiful. But what is it really? Have to look behind us. Kasyatvam, to whom you belong? Kasyatvam, you belong to whom? Shankaracharya, he said, this Soham. You know, he took from Vedas, he called them Mahavakya. But really, all Vedic scripture is Mahavakya. He just did his magic. <laughs> all Vedic, all mantras from Vedas are Mahavakya, because this is all Shabda Brahman. So he just declared four are these Mahavakya, but one is a Soham. But the Soham means Tattvamasi, he said also. Tattvamasi. That is the same here. Kasyatvam. Here, Kasyatvam, to whom you belong? To whom? First, who am I? Who am I? Then Tattvamasi, he said Tattvamasi. I am that, but really Tattvam Asi. I am that which belongs to him. Actually, means Tasyatvam. That, that one I see, no? Actually, that I belong to him. 
That is deep meaning. Deep sure. meaning. He spoke because he's Shankaracharya. His intelligence is beyond any human understanding. So he spoke in such a way to to do his purpose, but to give also deep meaning also. You can't condense it more than this. <laughs> <laughs> Not we cannot do. That is, Nobody can. That is the that idea. Is, so that, that Tamasi actually really meaning is not you are that, but you are his actually. You are that which belongs we to are him. That. You belong, yeah. yes. So here he asking also, Kasyatvam, Ka Kutta Ayata, where you have come from? What is my origin? Ask yourself this. Tatvam Chintaya Tat Iha Bharata. Here now this, in this human birth, think of these things. Actually it is said, like Vedanta Sutra starts, Atato Brahma Jigyasa. Atta Atta Brahma means now, therefore, you start with Brahma Jigyasa. Now means because That's life. we have this it's human body. Yeah. If we are a dog, what is the meaning of Brahma Jigyasa? Just take some food and sleep and be happy. Even if I have the best guru as a dog, I will not understand anything. <laughs> but as a human being, Atato Brahma Jigyasa. Go to Brahma Jigyasa to this, what is Brahman, to this search after Brahman. Here the same also said, think, oh my brothers, Shankaracharya said, Tat, tatvam chintaya tat iha brata. Oh brothers, think of this tattva, what is, who are you? Who is your wife? Who are your children? Who are really children? We don't know. <laughs> that is the point, we don't know. Once there's one history, in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Leela, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna in Kali Yoga. Mm -hmm. So Narad Muni came as Srivast Thakur. Because wherever is Krishna's Leela, Narad will be there. So in, in Gauranga's Leela, in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Leela, Narad came as Srivast Thakur and Narad became Grihastha. He's a Brahmachari, but he became Grihastha for the Leela, like in a, in a theater, no? mm -hmm. playing the Grihastha role. And his wife is Malini, and they had one son. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to the courtyard and for one year they were dancing there. Every night they do whole night kirtan and they forget eating, sleeping, everything. Because Supreme Lord is dancing, the Supreme Beauty, Supreme everything. So one day, the Mahaprabhu was dancing in the courtyard. Small, no? Small house. Our Guru Maharaj explained, they were not like millions of people, they were 30, 40 or some. Small group of Vaishnavas, they do so nice kirtan, they forget everything. Then, one night, suddenly Sri Vastaku is, you see, something is there, something is, is disturbed. So he went inside the house and he saw the ladies are crying. And he said, what is going on? Then he saw his son died. Then Sri Vastaku became and said, stop crying. I mean, can you do that? Your son died. He said, stop crying. The Supreme Lord is dancing in my court. Don't disturb his kirtan. I'd be happy if I can die in this condition here, in these circumstances. So stop crying. If you cry, I take one stone around my neck and jump into the Ganga. She was talking, forbid the ladies to cry. So he went back and Mahaprabhu asked her, she was talking, what is going on? Nothing, my lord, everything is fine. <laughs> he no change. I mean, his son died. Who? You cannot stay calm if that happens. You, will, you don't know what to do. But she was Thakur who said, nothing, it's, it's all right, my Lord. just please do your kirtan. Then other devotees explained, oh, you know that came, how we can hide that? That she, she was Thakur's son, that. then Mahaprabhu said, wow, how is it possible? Such a devotee, he's sacrificing for me, he's not caring for his own son, he had died. He was very touched, Mahaprabhu, he said, how can I, what kind of devotees I have? So. Did so, so attached, so yeah. dedicated. Then Mahaprabhu went inside to the room where the dead body of the son was lying and he touched the dead body and said, ask my dear son why you went, why you left. And he came back to life and gave some lecture. Then of course everybody listens. <laughs> when that son starts speaking, then all they were listening with rapt attention. What is he saying? Then Mahaprabhu asked why you went? What's the problem? And then he said, you know, my Lord, you know everything. But my karma is finished. So I had to go on to the next place. 
So who is father, who is mother? That that son said, I no mother, no father, nobody is son, nobody is all. We just have some karma going on. Go to the next place. That is you no. Know, that is all illusion. Then all this, you know, and that everybody accept. That is realized knowledge from the just the soul who left, and realized that we have to go one day. And where is mother? Where is father? Where is son? Where is relationship? Where is it's gone? Next life, what is with the past mother? I don't know anything. No idea. Maybe me, maybe not. But you have no idea. So that is that is here. He said. Therefore, he said, who is your wife? Now it's a wife. For this time, but the next life, last life, <laughs> we don't know what is there. So think, who is your son? Actually, who becomes my child in this bird? I have the same relationship like with every other jiva. But Maya makes it so nice that makes a similar face like father, like mother. That is the illusion also, because that is not the my, the body is not the, my son. This is the only also so who is that soul inside? We should think. This world is Ateva Vichitra. This is so puzzling, you know. You cannot see through this. Maya makes all these things so perfect, nobody can escape. So but that think of this. Who to whom you belong? Kasya Twam Kahakutayata, where you have come from. Just think of this, my brother. Think, think. Really think. Not just think where is money, how to enjoy. <laughs> The new generation only understands to go, but the old generation come to go. <laughs> yes, yes. And they go to the source. <laughs> that you go to the, yes, we have to. It's simple. Tasya Twam, who is asking this question, to whom belong you? Never think. We think we are the masters of this universe. No? Come now, this new generation. They think we have mobile phone. We can, we, we can, we can order everything on the mouse click or something, and this is the world is just money. But uh, that that is Krishna's wonderful Maya. You know? So how to get this? Shankaracharya also says here: Sat Sangatve and Nis Sangatvam. Nis Sangatve Nirmohatvam. Nirmohatve Nischalatatvam. Nischalatatve Jivan Mukti. That is wonderful. Huh? How you get this from Sat Sangha? You get nissangatvam, you become free from desires. If you take sadhu sangha, they will brush it out. How they brush it out? By the harikata. You listen to this harikata that will be, give you so much taste, because Krishna's lila is so nice. Jaya Jaya Sundara, Nanda Kuma, how he's on the banks of Jamuna, throwing colors of each other, on each other's body, and become more beautiful. So that is, if that will touch, if sadhus will speak, so satsangatve nisangatvam. Nisangatve nirmohatvam. If you become free from desires, you can see no, what no, is going. No more you see through. You can see that our acharyas also say this Vishaya Chadya Kabe Shuddha Habiman Tabe Hama Herabo Shri Brindavan. If you should the Habiman, mind becomes pure. Focus. Means Vishaya Chadya, give up this Vishaya, this sense enjoyment desires. Then mind becomes clear, then you can see Shri Brindava. Not Brindava, not stones and broken houses and monkeys and pigs and two dogs and whatever is there in Brindava. You will see Shri Brindava, you see Radha Krishna there. Same here. Nisangatve Nirmohatva. From if if you give up your desires, then you can give up the illusion also. This is the main thing. All Shastra all religions, I think, they speak the same. Give up these attachments. They make us suffer. No, this world makes us suffer. Our attachment makes us suffer. This is the problem. No? So here, yeah. Nisangatve Nirmohatvam, then no more moha, no more illusion, then no more mistakes you will do. Nirmohatve Nischala Tattvam. You will understand clearly what is what. Nischala. Unshaken. You will not come out from this realization. That will be fixed. Like granite. Nishchala tattvam. Nishchala tattve, jivan mukti. You become free. You get this. That is so powerful. That is not a small thing to, to see the tattva. But tattva means what? Tattva, what is really? Tattva, yesterday we had the Srimad Bhagavatam discussion. That is also said, what is life's, what is not life's goal is to, until last breath, you enjoy like an animal. 
This is not life school. This is Jivasya Tattva Jigyasya. It is said also in Bhagavatam. This life is meant to Tattva Jigyasya. But what is this Tattva? Vadanti Tattatam Vidas Tattvam Yajgyanam Adrayam Brahmeti Paramatmeti Bhagavan Iti Shabdhyate. This Tattva is Brahman, Paramatma, Bhagavan. This is Tattva. Who knows Tattva? They say Vadanti tat, Tattvam Vidas. Who know the Tattva? They say this is Tattvam Yajgyanam Advayam. This Advaya Gyan means uncomparable knowledge. This is this is only one. It has no second knowledge like this. But what is this that this Advaya Tattva? This is Brahma, Paramatma, and Bhagavan. That is in the beginning of Srimad Bhagavatam, and the rest of the almost eighteen thousand verses explain what is this Brahman doing. That all lilas will come. That is here same. Nishchala Tattvam. What is this Tattva? This Tattva is Supreme Lord. This is not knowledge, this is not something you have to learn or something. This is to see, this tattva means realization. Then become Jiva Mukti. If you see, in, even in Upanishad it is said, if you see the Golden Lord, there is one in Atharva Veda, somewhere one Upanishad. If you see the Golden Lord, you come out from this. Golden Lord means Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Kali Yuga, you see that Golden Lord and you realize you come out. From this, you become liberated. If you see that, if you see Krishna in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna said the same. Who understands my karma, janma karma, chame divyam, evam yoveti tattvata. Again, is tattva is always stressed. Tattva means not knowledge. Tattva means realization. That means real thing. Who understands Krishna? He will not enter into another's womb, mother's womb. Finished. If he gives up his body, he will go to me. Krishna said, not to the mother's womb, to the next one. So therefore, this is so... So how we get from Sadhu Sangha? Sadhu Sangha is the root cause. That Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Shastra Koi, Lava Matra Sadhu Sangha, Sabha Siddhi Hoi. From one moment of Sadhu Sangha, you get all perfection. All Shastra say Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha. All Shastra say this. There is nothing, nothing else left. And here, that we learn also from the sadhus. Vayasi gate ka kama vikaraha. Shuske nire ka ka saraha. Kshine vite ka paribaraha. Jnana tatve ka sangsaraha. That is wonderful. Vayasi gate, if the youth has gone, ka kama vikara, what you will do with sensual lust? <laughs> you see, what you do with the fashion? If your body is old, wearing some these fancy things, how it will look? <laughs> Crying, it will look painful, no? If some old ladies will dress like young girls, like beautiful, like for a wedding or something, or here now where they dress young girls. But old people will wear this, it will not look very nice. That's all how whole society is made for young people. That you will feel will become old, then you will feel that. Actually, nothing is for me left. To go on holiday, that is for young people. If you are old, phew, to do their nice dress, this is for young people. Nice makeup is for to, to color your hair. That is also I mean, to do all these fashions. Everything is for young people, all this excitement, everything. Now, internet, all these things, this TikTok and whatever, this is everything for young people. Old people, this, you know, there's nothing they're so here. Why is it Kama Vikara? What do you do with the excitement of lust? Kama Vikara, it dissolves. No more. It's not there. And Shushke Nireka Kasara, what is a lake when there is no water inside? <laughs> nothing is left. It's for nothing is good. Kshine Viteka Parivaraha, if there is no wealth, what is family? There's money is gone, then where is family life? And the same and but a jnana tattva ka samsara. If you know the truth, where is samsara? Samsara, you know what is meaning? Samsarati. To run together. All together are running. And like in this world, all are running. Samsarati it is samsara. Yes. This is samsara. Sarati means to run. Sanskrit word is to run. So all together running means, means samsarati. We all we see people are running here, all running after money, after this, after this, all together. Nobody is steady. 
all are running. You go on Monday morning, you go on the street, you see Sangsara, all are running. Oh, and the weekend also, they're running in the park and they're always running. Always running, running, running. There's no... This is Sangsara. There's no, you cannot stop also. If you stop, blood is also running. Mind is also running. Earth is running. Universe is running. All are running. This is a universal thing. This is called Sangsara. But if you have Tattva, where is Sangsara? What is this samsara? Then you realize, oh, this is the samsara. You, you, you come and what is not running? Soul is not running. Achala, Krishna said in the Gita, the soul is achala, is not moving. Bhagavan is also not running in this samsara. They always fix. Soul, atma, paramatma, this is fixed. So if you come to the knowledge, jnana tatve, means this is knowledge. You come to yourself and no need to run anymore in samsara. But as long as we are not with ourselves, we have to join. This is all a joking, whole life. <laughs> but you see, one person told me, did you ever see a happy jogger? Happy jogger. Happy jogger. Happy jogger. Happy jogger. Who is jogging? Who is jogging all the time? Could you see somebody is smiling? <laughs> always like this. They always have this watch show. This, this, but, but look the face, look the face. They are not enjoying that. It's so... This samsara is the same. We are all running, all running, running. So how you can enjoy that? It's not possible. So relax, come to yourself. That is the only steady place. Otherwise, this world is just running, running, running. Prahlad Maharaj said also the same. Trastos maham kripanavatsala dussa hogra samsara chakra kadanagra satam pranita. I am not afraid of you, my Lord. Nishinade was there with full blood and all these things. I am not afraid of you, but I am afraid of this samsara. Trastos maham kripana vatsala dussa ho gra sangsara chakra kadanad grasatam pranita. This is very difficult to tolerate. Dussa, very difficult to tolerate. This sangsara means what? Birth, old age, disease, death, but not only mine, of everyone. How you will tolerate this? Very difficult. Open a newspaper, how you can tolerate that? This is one sangsara chakra kada, this is sangsara chakra, like. Like a, like a, how is that called, mill, no? where you put the grains inside and make ground into powder. So all jivas are thrown into this samsara chakra and ground into powder here. Until they can. This is samsara. There's no escape, because karma is keeping you there. Karma is bada swakarma. This karma is binding everyone here. So to come out, this is the, the, the knowledge Shankaracharya gives, is to come out from this. Otherwise, you have to go samsara and be ground into powder. <laughs> it's not so easy. Even if you want to come out, we cannot come out. Because nobody actually wants to be ground into powder. But how to come out, you have to go to ourselves. Means sadhu sangha is necessary. Sadhu sangha, guru sangha, take the mantra, start practicing all these things. This is, Vedas have this. No other religion has such power. All of a sudden you become sannyas, it's just leave everything. Not leave. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. You are running into some sort of continuous. You don't let the body run, but you come to yourself. Let the body run. Let the karma yoga. That is karma yoga. Krishna in the Gita clearly says this. It's better to do your duty. Don't expect the fruit. Don't want anything from that and just do it. And let it be. That is if because if you if you become sannyasi, how you will live? You cannot even maintain your body if you really, in a, in a complete sense of sannyas, you cannot even maintain your body. So Krishna said this in the Gita. If you, if you give up everything, you cannot even maintain your body. So better you do your duty, but internally you disconnect. Yeah, detached. Detached attachment, no? Yeah, that attachment externally, what is your, what is your duty? You just do it. Look at this as a karma yoga. That is karma yoga. Yoga means to connect. connect. It's not only karma, it's karma yoga. Okay, I do my karma, but I connect to him. Yeah. And I don't want anything for this karma. I have to do anyhow I have to do. You cannot escape. So better I do it. And the moment you have no expectation, mm-hmm. are you happy? Yeah, please. <laughs> At the moment, the moment you have no, atta- no expectation, no attachment, you become happy. Same moment. And the moment you expect something, you know, it goes down. Also, yeah, that, that is that is uh, 
<laughs> that is realization of Krishna speaking the same, Shankaracharya speaking the same, all Vedas will speak the same, all sadhus will speak the same, the all wise men will speak the same, whole over the world. So that is that is the the key and we have just to try it out. There's no way to ex to ex understand that. You have to practice. It's karma yoga, it's karma, it's action. But yoga to connect that with Krishna. And that will work 100% because the Creator Himself promised. Mm -hmm. He Himself said, He, and when He created this world, He gave this Karma Yoga along as a way how to act in this world. This is the operating manual in this world to do the Karma Yoga. You maintain everything but connect to Him. This is very high and very much necessary in our, in our society, so much. Okay, I think two, three verses are left, two verses are left. Yes, it did have nice I hear, but they want to be reading in Tamil also. Yes. Both in Sanskrit and Tamil. The meanings are important. The meanings the are deep. Uh, so we have to, he said many times again and again, think, 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 think. That is to be practiced, that is to be taken yeah, in your life. Here, I, it's like a contract, conditions of like. <laughs> Yeah, I, I give yes. a different perspective, then you catch my catch. Sure, sure. You are born, but you want to get out also. Sure. <laughs> Don't change the career. <laughs> no, just do it, go on. And just keep going. Yeah. Internally, we have to <laughs> find it. So, he said, Makuru dhana jana jovana garbam, harati neme shat kala sarvam. Mayamayam idam akilam hitva brahma padam tvam pravisha viditva. <coughs> Don't be proud of dhana, jana and jovana, of your wealth, of your followers and of your youth. Don't be proud of this because harati nime shat kala sarvam. In one moment time will take it. Yes. In one moment. Time doesn't mean hundred years to take it away. It will come and take it. You never know. So why to be proud? Maya Maya Midam, this all is Maya Maya, means it's illusory. Maya Maya, Idam Akilam, hit, give it up, these things. Hitva means leave them, it means internally, it's not external thing. Brahma Padam Tvam, enter into Brahma Padam, enter into the spiritual realm. Brahma Padam means transcendence. Come to the spiritual plane and understand that. Viditva Pravisha, first understand this. We are Brahman, mm. by nature we are Brahman. So we, we will be happy in Brahman also. We are not happy in this world. We belong to Brahman. Brahman means para Brahman. Mm. We, are, we belong to that. So what we are, this is our, it is an, it's not our land here to live. So Brahman also has another meaning. Brahma is Brahma, Brahma is the Brahma that, that already No, that is Brahma Andam. It's part of the That Brahma. is also there. Mm -hmm. But, Brahma. So but that is here not the meaning. That is not. Brahma Padam means that is transcendental to this Brahma. I was interpreting that as I am part of the big Brahma. We are Brahma. part. So and yes. how small I am, how yes. tiny I am is the Brahma. That must be realized every time when we introspect. Yes. Yes, this is, but one thing is, we are so tiny, but we are member. Yeah, we are member of we are we, That is our family. Yeah. This whole universe, with all its elements and all its, we are, that is our family. Vasudeva yes. Kudumbakam. Yeah. That is Vedas say clearly. That is our, that is, that also all spiritualists will come to that same conclusion. Whatever, wherever they come from and however they worship the Lord, they will come to this conclusion that I am part of the whole. Brahmanda. Yes, the Brahmanda and even beyond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we are this Brahmanda, what is here, Kamvayu Agnim Salilam Mahingscha, what is Kam means the sky, the, the air, Kamvayu Agnim Salilam Mahingscha, Jyotink Sisatvani Druma Disha, whatever is this, uh, the the stars, the planets, yes. the trees, the directions, everything is Hare Shariram. Is this is Krishna's body. Is the realization only available to the human mind? Yes. Any other not higher, but the, not... The realization of it, I'm saying. That is specially for the human. Mm -hmm. Therefore, this 
Freya, this this stotram is for human, especially for the and because the human have the problems. <laughs> because you think you have you are we are we coming from Manu, and Manu come from Brahma's mind, so people are mental. Emotional. Human beings are mental by nature, but this is a history. We control. We control. We are we are we are origin from the mind of Brahma. So the first time we Manu is coming from yeah. Brahma's mind, so his name is Manu. And then humans are Manusha, because we are always thinking. Animals, they are not disturbed they in their mind. They, just they think also, eat this first or that first. They can eat, they can also think, but they don't disturb. That is human, especially. Therefore, it's human need training for the mind. Manashiksha. They need them. They have to, they need training. Otherwise, this mind will get, bring you to hell and up and down this hell from one hell to another if you don't control your mind. So, therefore, he said, all this what you have, dhana, jana, jobana, this wealth and people and uh, youth, it will be gone in one moment. So give it up before it will be taken away from you. Because it will, 100% it will be taken from you. Yeah. Yeah. So die before you die. Start now. That's that is the point, say. yes. <laughs> die without dying. How much Muni Maharaj, how many times Muni Maharaj said die to live? Die to live. <laughs> that means die before you die. <laughs> because we have to die. It is 100% sure. Nobody will escape. So before you die, you should be already dead. Then that is no problem. But that, that is, so therefore here I said, my, all these things, give it up, anyhow it doesn't belong to you, it's just an illusion, so give up this illusion, Brahma Padam Tvam Pravishev, understand Brahma Padam, understand this Brahman, but to understand Brahman, you have to give up your attachments, you cannot enter on this plane with all the things, it's not possible at all, you have to purify your mind, you have to purify your desires, you have to give up your future plans, I mean you can make plans, but don't be attached to these things. You have to give the control to someone who is higher. Otherwise, you will stay where you are, consciousness, and we will be samsara. We have even to run the, with all others. The, even the logical claim, it's true. If uh, in the samsara, if you expect something, it doesn't happen again angry. I make it. That is the way. Because you're attached. 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 That is the way. Yeah. Yeah. That is the way. So, that is not the way. If you want to come to knowledge, Krishna and Bhagavad Gita are explaining very clearly how to come to knowledge. The first one is Amanitva, Adhambitva, Ahimsa, Kshanti, Rajay. First, give up, I don't want any respect. Give up the search for respect. This is the first step of knowledge. Krishna says this, Amanitva, Adhambitva, don't be proud. Same here. If you're proud, you stay in ignorance. And whatever you try and how much you grind your brain, you would stay in ignorance if you're still proud of whatever it is. Amanitva madambina ahimsa, don't be violent, also don't think bad about others. Others, you people stay in ignorance. If I'm thinking bad of others, this is ignorance. I can never cultivate knowledge. Krishna said many things and after he said, what I said this is knowledge, everything else is ignorance. Amanitva madambina ahimsa kshanti, learn to forgive. Without forgiveness, we will stay in ignorance. This is so powerful to forgive. Yes. Forgive means forget. Yes. It's so powerful. Forgiveness is one of the main qualities. Brahmin's quality is forgiveness. Kshantir arjavam and be simple. Yeah, then, you? yes, simple. Like a child. Yeah. Inside, outside, same. Yeah. No, if I don't like something, I don't like. If I like something, I like. No need to please anyone by some show. That is, thing. No, that, is, that is all ignorance. That's all ignorance. But that you see how much ignorance is in our mm-hmm. modern life. So to come to knowledge, we have to, Krishna gives the steps to come to the knowledge. Then comes Acharya Pasanam, Shavucham, Stayam, Atma, Vinigra, then worship the Guru. But if you worship the Guru, you will not uh, follow these other things, that will not give you result also. Acharya Pasanam, Shaucham, be clean, Stairyam, be fixed, don't be Atma Vinigraha, control yourself. All these things are steps to knowledge. Knowledge doesn't mean to study books. <laughs> that is not the meaning, no? So that is the same what Shankaracharya is giving. Don't be proud of anything, which is, is just illusion, it will be taken away. So one verse here is more. 
ದೀನ ಜಮಿನ್ಯೌ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಪ್ರಾತಃ ಶಿಶಿರವಸಂತೌ ಪುನರಾಯತ ಕಾಲಕ್ರಿದತಿ ಗಚಂತ್ಯು ತತ್ ಆಪಿ ನ ಮುಂಚತಿ ಆಸವಾಯು ನಾವು ಸಿ ನೂ ಟೈಮ್ ಹಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ನೈಟ್ ಹಸ್ ಕಮ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ವಿ ಸಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ನೋಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ನಾವು ಇಸ್ ಎ ಸಮರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಹೋಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ರಿಯಲೈಸ್ ದಟ್ ನಾವು ವಿ ಆರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಸಮರ್ಸ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ವಿಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಡೇಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನೈಟ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರಿಯಲೈಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಲ ಕ್ರಿದತಿ ಗಚಂತ ಲೈಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆ ಯು ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ನೆವರ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಗೋ ಆಸ ವಾಯು ದಿಸ್ desire yeah. the disease so to say why you means the disturbance of your means disease of asha of our hopes we, this is this, this disease is not leaving us we still have so many hopes we see how our life is going every morning when we wake up one day is gone it will never come again never now one winter gone one another winter another another summer winter summer it's gone how much you have money you cannot pay you cannot buy one half second or nothing you can buy it's gone so still the disease of desire never lets go that apina munchati asavayu this desire is still there even it's going going and how you can can you slow it down no you can try you no know, break nothing is there it's just flowing it's flowing this kala this is how this time is making you old no scientist has found out they do many theories but how kala is because kala is krishna he's yogeshwara shwara how is making everybody old how is dying this hair white who knows <laughs> how is doing that they may be so many theories they do but how this is done nobody knows but, uh, so that is why should we get attached to the time not get attached to the time be conscious of the time conscious of it in the sense that because the life